And welcome back. So we had temperatures well above average once again for the day today as most of us made it to near 70. Our average high is around 56 this time of year. Here's a look at our North Platte sky cam as we did have a good amount of sunshine into the morning and then partly cloudy skies into early afternoon turning mostly cloudy, but we did stay mainly dry, mostly cloudy skies as of right now. That is continuing to keep us mild. Trapping, trapping in the heat that we had through the day today. Uh, near 70 out toward Broken Bow, North Platte, lower 60s out toward the Ogallala area and Thedford, Valentine at 67, a high temperature of 64 at Imperial. And here's the current temperatures, mainly along the I-80 corridor into the upper 40s and lower 50s, upper 40s into the Sand Hills, Broken Bow, the warm spot at 54 degrees. Here's a look at the winds. Now they have changed direction since the last couple of days. Now for more of a northerly or northeasterly direction, a cool flow that does produce moisture. Wind speeds really not that bad, 5 to 15 miles per hour breezier into our western counties where they do have that easterly wind producing some rain showers. First off, we do have uh, rain showers mainly from Arthur, Ogallala, Grant, Imperial, and points off to the west into the Panhandle and mostly cloudy skies most everywhere else. It's having a hard time getting into the dry air around North Platte and points off to the east. So as of right now, uh, Lincoln County, south and east, mainly dry, uh, but that could change. Uh, could get some drizzle in here as we go through the overnight period. Low pressure system continuing to track off to our south and eventually moving into the uh, Midwest and Northeast. There's that really warm air exiting. They had that the past couple of days. Cooler air is on the way behind this cold front. So let's take a look at what to expect over the next couple of days. Eventually, that cool air is going to move into the Midwest and Northeast jet stream over us right now. That's why we're getting some moisture. But as we uh, make our way through Friday into Saturday, lots of sunshine and a nice warm up ahead. Once again, as we're going to, going to stay with above average levels in terms of temperatures as we approach the weekend. Now, as for that low at the surface, it's going to continue to move off to the north and east. Eventually, by around the weekend, it's going to be into the northeast. On the backside, the cool side of the system, some snow stretching from the higher elevations of the Rockies, missing us off to the south and east, and then uh, traveling uh, into the Midwest and then into Canada. Warmer ahead of that this cold air is only going to be over us briefly for the day tomorrow so let's take a look at the sky cast and there it is mainly from Ogallala Grant Arthur Hyannis and points off to the west we do have the rain showers working our way through the overnight could even turn over to some snow showers before it ends shouldn't pick up a lot of snow it's pretty warm out there mid to upper 30s for low temperatures and then we keep a good amount of cloud covers make our way through the day on thursday highs into the upper 40s still with that northerly wind so that's our cool day and then as we make our way through friday the uh, skies do clear more of a westerly wind drying us out with temperatures uh, getting back up there into the mid to upper 50s with sunshine through the uh, day on friday so Here's a look at the maps. There's that low exiting, and this high pressure system is going to work its way in Friday, uh, Thursday night into Friday. We're on its cool side, but as we go through Saturday and even Sunday too, uh, first off, a good amount of sunshine Saturday, clouding up on Sunday, but still with that southerly wind, temperatures through the weekend will continue to rise. So let's take a look at the lows. It's going to stay mild overnight, mid to upper 30s. And then as we go through the day on Thursday, highs near 50. And Fridays, highs into the upper 50s to near 60. We do have just a slight chance of some rain showers, mainly in our western counties in the morning tomorrow, then partly cloudy, a little breezy with a northerly wind. And then Friday and Saturday, lots of sunshine by Saturday up to 66 and 71 on Sunday, but we will start to cloud up. Then we have rain likely on Monday, tapering off by Tuesday morning. Breezy northerly winds once again will get us uh, a little cooler as we fall back through the 50s into the upper 40s and 53 for Wednesday with mostly cloudy skies. Kent? So just a little chilly for our uh, St. Patrick's Day. You know, really not that bad for this time of year. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. And before you pull out that credit card today, beware. If you don't pay it off in full, your interest